Hey, traveling parents, ready to revolutionize the way you pack for family adventures? Imagine flying with just a carry-on, even with a toddler in tow. Today, we're explaining how we managed international travel to Mexico with just the essentials, carry-on only. Get ready to streamline your packing game with our minimalist pack list for international travel with a toddler. Let's go. This is part two of a three part series about traveling with a toddler. So be sure to check out the last video and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the series. Stick around till the end where I talk about what I liked about this pack list and some things I would have changed. Let me kick things off by emphasizing a crucial tip for minimalist carry on travel with a toddler. Less clothing is key. We opted for four outfits each, a strategic move essential for keeping our luggage light and manageable. It was hot in Mexico, so we brought the toddler one shorts onesie, three shorts, and three shirts. And then we brought him one extra tank top that matches a shirt I have. Super cute. He also has one swimsuit and one reusable swim diaper, a hat, sunglasses, and shoes because he just started walking. For toiletries, he has baby shampoo, a toothbrush, toothpaste, aquaphor, vitamin D, acetaminophen, sunscreen, nail clippers, and Pedialyte. I always bring Pedialyte and acetaminophen when we travel with the baby, just in case he gets sick. Here is a quick overview of what we packed for us two adults. I won't get into the specifics, but it was four outfits each. So here you can see we have one packing cube with all of our clothes in it. Four outfits each for two adults and one toddler. We brought the hiking backpack instead of a stroller because we figured it would be easier to navigate the streets in public transit with the baby in a backpack. So in this first pocket, we put the soft carrier. This hiking backpack has 26 liters of storage, so we were able to put extra stuff in it. In this lower pocket, we have the life jacket and we also put his sleep sack in there. The life jacket we only used once and the sleep sack we didn't use at all because it was too hot. So two things we definitely could have left at home and this is something that we will think about for our next trip, not to bring those items. Okay, in this back pocket you saw we had extra wipes and then we also stashed our two hats in there. Then in this front pocket, we stashed a couple of extra diapers. Just keep in mind that you can buy diapers almost anywhere, so we didn't actually bring very much diapers and we just bought them in Mexico. And a pro tip, hiking backpacks are able to be gate checked just like strollers. Makes it very easy to bring. So then here is our main backpack and in it we have the packing cube with the clothes in it, one bag of accessories and toiletries, one bag of liquids, one bag with flip flops and our travel first aid kit and some sunglasses. Overall, we had our main backpack, hiking backpack and we carried an extra bag for our personal item. This held crucial carry on toddler entertainment, snacks and toys, which I'll cover in another video. This extra bag was invaluable during the trip, serving as a convenient stash for snacks and toys. My pack lists are always evolving, tailored to trip length, location, and specific needs. You may have noticed that we did not bring a crib. If we brought a crib, we would have had to check luggage because the crib is too big for carry-on. We specifically booked rooms in Mexico with a crib available because we didn't want to deal with bringing one on our journey. It was so nice not to have to wait for checked luggage, so I'm thinking about this for our next trips that we might be booking rooms with cribs available and not bringing a crib at all. I love our travel crib, but it's just an extra thing to carry and if it's not necessary, I don't don't want to bring it. Ultimately, I was very happy with the amount of stuff we brought. It's so nice not to have very much stuff to deal with, especially in transit from the airport to the hotel rooms and in between cities and in between hotels, depending on your travel adventures. It makes public transportation a lot easier if that's the route you go, which for us it is. We also didn't have to wait for our luggage after the plane, so we were able to breeze right through customs before the big line formed. There are a few things I would have changed so we went for a total of 10 days 
and we ended up doing laundry twice on that trip because we had four outfits. So I think if I did the math a little better and brought five outfits and we only needed to do laundry once, that would have been more ideal for what I would want. An extra outfit each would have been probably more than we had room for. So I think four outfits, totally doable, and I would be happy to bring that amount, but I would want to do laundry more often. So ultimately I was happy with the simplicity and the small amount of outfits we brought. So I think it's just something that you can think about. Do you want to do laundry more often or do you want to bring less stuff? Because no matter how long your trip is, I think you can probably just bring four outfits each and be totally fine whether your trip is a weekend, a week, or a month. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you to think about what you would pack for your toddler if you traveled internationally. And this was great because it was carry-on only and so we didn't have to wait for checked luggage, which I think is ideal, especially when traveling with little kids. They don't wanna wait any longer than they have to at the airport. So the less you bring, the better. And don't forget, this is part two of a three-part series about traveling with a toddler. So be sure to check out the last video and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the series. Until next time, stay adventurous.